All right, Uncle Sam FM here, and this is the next episode of my American Football 19 series as we start to wind down FM 19 and head into FM 20. Uh, my team uh, that I'm currently managing right now is the United States Under 20s national team, so I'm with the, uh, the youth squad for the USA. <clears throat> I did finish up with Michigan State, uh, had a very successful stint there. And uh, I'll manage the USA here for maybe another cycle. But we are currently in the World Cup, and this is the squad I've brought in. Uh, it's pretty good, especially up front. Um, Omiji is one of my better players. He plays, I believe, for Atlanta, Atlanta in uh, Syria, in Italy. Um, good pace, good physicals, very good off the ball, good technique. But his finishing is a little low for a striker. Um, but he is, um, yeah, he's pretty good. <clears throat> Colin Kippy, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but that's what I'm going to call him. Also very pacey, uh, good finishing. He's kind of my other striker. Uh, I have Nunga Dungala, Dungala, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, he plays kind of a winger for me. Um, he's obviously very good in the attack. Um, so I've got some really good guys up front, front three especially. <clears throat> when you start getting back into the midfield, that's where the quality starts to drop off a little bit. Um, Castellanos is a very good, uh, he plays, for me, he plays in that center midfield spot. Um, he's um, a pretty good number 10. <clears throat> he's got good passing, uh, decent vision, decent decision. So I, I like playing him at that number 10 midfield spot. Um, but from there... Yeah, it starts to drop off. Um, and we'll kind of just give you a brief look at some of these guys. Um, especially not great at my defensive midfield spot. Um, the, the number six position is what I call it. Um, and they're, I mean, they're not terrible, but not great. And then when we get into the back, uh, we really lose a lot of quality. Jake Santos is good. He can play fullback on either side. Um, I do have... Let's see if I can... Dooley. I have a couple of good center backs. Um, oh, this guy, Wilfredo, who's a um, Brazilian. He's a U.S. Brazilian dual passport player. But he's uh, he's good uh, in the middle, in the back. And then um, I guess that's it. I really don't have a lot of quality in the back. And so the challenge will be getting a goal and then holding the lead, uh, which I was able to do in the first match. I'll show you... Um, I'll show you the kind of the result there. Uh, yeah, see, my goalkeepers are not great either. So uh, I had I did already play France, but the video quality wasn't great. I, something was going on with my computer, so I'm probably not going to post that one. But um, you can see the result here. It was um, we'll look at the match stats. We did um, we did control the run of play, um, but to be honest, they probably had the better of the chances. I know the stats say we had two half and they had zero, but they had a couple like off the bar, off the post. I mean, I don't know how those don't count as half or clear cut chances, but um, but we did what we needed to do and we got the three points and that was big. Um, getting three points against France in the World Cup is, is huge. Um, it puts us in a good spot in our group, which we'll look at here. Um, France did now beat South Africa in the uh, so they're I guess sort of ahead of us. Uh, they beat South Africa 3 0. Um, we still play Brazil, who beat South Africa 2 0. And uh, a result against Brazil will put us in really good shape uh, because then we'll finish, we finish with South Africa. So we got to imagine we can get three points against South Africa and, and be able to move on. Um, luckily, in the U20 World Cup, though, they take the top two from every group, and then they take, let's see, um, four of the third-place finishers. Four out of the six third-place finishers. So even if we finish third, we have a chance. So um, so let's just dive in. I'll give it a real quick look. I had to adjust my lineup a little bit. I don't have my best 11 out there because of um, uh, you know fitness, which I don't know the... the Players don't recover right during U20 matches, after U20 matches. I don't understand what happens there. Um, like, Dungala is at 78%. Like that. I don't, I'm not sure why that is, but it's, it's odd. 
Um, so it's obviously, you got a lot of guys that I'd like to be playing who are now on the bench. Um, so we're going to do our best to get a result here against Brazil. We did play Brazil in March, and it ended 2-2. But... I there was like four there was the senior national team was playing that weekend the uh, U23s U22s and so all those teams got to pick above me and so they I didn't get near the squad that I have right now and then we still managed to get a 2-2 result um some good performance and not going to change anything yet. Um, probably will pretty quick, though. Hopefully they don't score right away. Yeah. Um, and the USA, of course, wearing our home whites. And I uh, I do have some... I made my own 3D kits for the U.S. national team so that they would look a little better in, on, in, in game. And we're knocking it around a little bit, making them chase. And apparently we were playing a two-person game in the back that... Come on, guys. Let's try to make something happen here. Uh oh Okay. Yeah, we're going to probably need to... I'm going to go... I'm going to go cautious. Santos is across in the box. Santos is, is my best fullback, so... It's good to have him in. Brazil got a clear and a half cut chance out of those two shots, <laughs> which fair enough. Those they were probably both clear cut chances, to be honest. Clock out to Santos, crosses it in, and it's headed away. But we maintain possession. Santos, Luki, back to the Santos. Oh, Henrique shot goes wide. So we still haven't got a shot on goal yet. We do have possession. And Bach gets the yellow card. Ooh, header. There we go. Now we have a shot. I might need to play a different type of game. Jacobs up to Lewis. Castellanos. Bach, who of course has that yellow. Comes it in. Lewis shot goes over. <clears throat> yeah, um Dun Dungala is incredibly pacey with the ball at his feet and he loves to cut inside and so against France he he took a ball cut inside outran everybody on the dribble and scored so I may need to set him in Ooh, another header just wide oh but that was us we headed it out okay I am gonna Change my control. Still go cautious. It feels like Brazil's coming after me. Correa with a nice ball to Luiki to Bach. Tries to switch to Castellanos. Back to Luiki. Finds the Santos. His cross is blocked. And Hernandez bumps it up. And keep possession. All right. We really need to play a style that takes advantage of Omiji's pace. Gosling with the corner to Lewis. This is it in. It's dealt with. And Castellano's hopeful shot is not on target. Ah. <sighs> I think we're playing a little better, so I don't want to make any changes yet. Not as much possession, but I knew that was going to happen. I don't. When I switch to this version, I don't get. I don't get the ball as much, so. Alright, here's a Minji. 
I don't know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but. Oh, Brock <laughs> with a volley, but couldn't put it in. Good save by the keeper, we'll say. Ooh, he's going to score a free kick if we keep giving him those. Diego Henrique. Ooh. I'm getting chances of their corner kicks, too. I don't want a nil-nil draw, but I'll take it. That would be a good result. Lewis, nice counter. Here we go. Oh, that's exactly kind of what this tactic is built to create. Keep back to on Lewis. Out to... What? I guess I called that offside or a foul or something. Oh, this would be awesome to score in the last seconds of the half. Okay, don't say this. Don't just hold it. Move the ball. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Thought we were going to get one up there right at the end. All right, so Brazil create, created more chances. Um, our possession has gone down since I switched, but I don't know. I do kind of feel like we're just we're playing better, so I'm going to leave things as they are. Um, see how things are going. Keep it up. Oops. And all right, Let's see if we can get a result here. Either hang on or grab a goal. And ball switched goes out. See Brazil get another yellow. Nope. My manager tells me they're looking for underlaps. Means. Hmm. Ooh, there we go. That's it right there. That's the kind of chance I'm looking to create with this tactic. <clears throat> Santos down to 75%. May need to switch him out soon. But I don't want to because I'd have to bring in Harry Edge, who's not great. So I might just leave. Here we go. Lucky to Hernandez. To Lewis. Lewis tried to force a ball in, it just wasn't there. Okay, good. I guess she was offside. The guy's name is Milton Takeshi. Who would ever think that Brazil would have a player named Milton K Takeshi? Okay. Reese without the gosling. Here we go. Imidji. I really need to learn how to pronounce that. Out to Santos Cross. Ooh. Header or a shot from outside. Uh parried over the bar. Oh, another header right to the hand keeper's hands. Alright, well, you know, let's go ahead and bring in Edge at right back. Um, it will make us more, a little more solid back there, so. Bach. Lucky. Gosling sprays it out to Santos, who's offside. Yeah, Edge is not going to give me as much in the attack, but. Maybe fresh legs and a better defender. Ooh, cross. Ooh. Why did <laughs> Goodness, Edge again just headed it right to the Brazil player. Chao Cesar. Right. What happens on this attack is going to tell me what I'm going to do here with my next sub. Oh, no. I gotta, now I gotta get a goal. They scored. 
Okay. Um, let's bring in Kitty. You know, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna bring in I'm a dot, I'm a whatever N Dengala. Both my wingers because we need goals here. Almost fuck. Mm. All right. <clears throat> Let's hope these guys can make something happen. And buy another throw in Jacobs. Azul. See where this will put us. And we're in, we're in third. So we'll need to beat South Africa. But the good news is France and Brazil will play each other. So if France wins, it's gonna be a big be a three-way tie. Ooh, Midji can't get the finish. So we may need a big, big win against South Africa. To be honest, though, I, like I was afraid to, I was going to give up more goals in this tournament. On my back, my back four are not very good, so I'm pretty should be somewhat pleased that we do have we've only given up this one goal. Of course, I say that, and they'll probably put two or three in in the last ten minutes. Let's go balanced, and we'll go positive. Ooh, shot by Therese. Who scoops it up? Fredo's picking up a yellow. Well, it looks like we're not going to end up. Let's just don't give up a second goal. Oh. And Jacobs gets a yellow. Gilmar. Okay, shot ricochets out. I don't know why. I just, I don't want to get. I want Jacobs to. Be able to play in the they get South Africa. <laughs> well, this is not only is this going to be a bad result for us, but this has been a kind of a boring game. We've not really put much together, but you know, Brazil is going to be probably the <laughs> one of the top two or three teams in the tournament. So, so I'll have to watch that game later if we play them in a um, in this knockout phase. <clears throat> So it's kind of maybe figure out a different way to approach this game. So one nil, not a great result. Um, I'll tell them they did good, even though really they didn't do great. Um, next South Africa, um, that's that's a big match. We need that match. Um, otherwise, we're out of the tournament. If we lose South Africa, we'll be we'll be will be very difficult for us to qualify. Um, but looking around at the rest of the the other groups, Spain and Argentina are already through. Um, Panama will play Mali. Um, in Group C, they only played one match, so in Egypt, Egypt and Scotland. Uh, group D, Morocco. Uh, looks like they had a big result over Tahiti. You no know, big surprise there, I guess. Tahiti, obviously not great. Um, group E, uh, Colombia and England have already gone through. And Group F, Serbia and Peru are in good shape there. So I'll um I'll live com the next match against South Africa, but this is Uncle Sam FM signing off.